Welcome to Living Word, growing a family that experiences every promise of God. You're listening to another life-changing word from Dr. Maureen Anderson. For more information, visit our website at livingwordonline.com. God was just speaking to my heart today, you know, that the Word of God tells us about that we're in the time of grace. We're in that time of the supernatural. In the book of Acts, it says that Jesus said, they said that Jesus sent us the Holy Spirit. Come on, that's right. Time of the Spirit of God. And we read in Zechariah where it said, the prophet said, you know, he said, not by power, not by might, but by my spirit, I say, speak to the mountain and shout grace, grace, grace to that mountain. Hallelujah. This is a time of the grace of God. And power it's and not, the Holy Spirit. so it's a time of the Holy Spirit moving into our lives and bringing us into that pa- that place of the grace of God. It reminded me of, you know, Peter when he was, you know, he was in prison. It was Acts uh, chapter 12 and uh, they had him double chained. They had guards around him. They had guards out there. They were going to, uh, you know, he was going to be uh, annihilated in the morning by uh, King Herod and they were wanting to make sure he couldn't escape. So in the logic, in the intellect, they thought they had covered it all. But then in grace, here came the angel. The light of God flowed into that. Peter was in grace. He was in total peace. He was sleeping. And guess what? The, he said, the chains fell off of him. The angel said, get dressed, get your sandals up, come on, let's go. They got him, walked him out, walked past the guards, everything. And they Even got the outside. The, the gates opened supernaturally, and the angel got him there, and then the angel left. And Peter was in so much grace and peace that he thought he was having a dream. He thought he had a vision and he realized, oh my goodness, this really happened. I am free. The angel showed up. God sent the angel. This is a time, not of the intellect, not of of our trying to understand because grace you can't comprehend That's right. what is going on you don't understand when you look back and i remembered when dr tom had the kidney stones and they say he, they said he was probably going to go on dialysis and the kidneys were a mess today and kidneys Stage don't fix four. themselves but while we were walking through that uh we were in total peace we, we look back and we say we were just laughing and fooling around and we were happy and we didn't understand. We knew the seriousness, but we didn't comprehend it. We were at total rest. And and uh, when they said his kidneys were, were totally fixed, they were like a newborn baby and it all happened. And But I can look back and say we were, we were in the peace of just God. Expected it. We were in the grace of God and we weren't even acknowledging the seriousness of the situation though I knew it I'm a nurse I knew it but I didn't know it at the time I was totally like Peter was like he didn't realize the seriousness of the moment of his life and this is for us today God wants you to know the Holy Ghost is here no respect of a person and though things are going on in your life and serious, you shout grace, grace to those moms. Let's just shout right now. Grace, Whoa. grace, hey, grace hey, to hey. those moms. Hallelujah. Hey, Enter into the grace of God, into his peace, and watch God do the signs and wonders and miracles in your situation. The Holy Ghost is here to solve problems in your life then he has the power it's not by power not by might but by my spirit says the lord hallelujah right now hold up that situation that's going on in your life and give it to the lord thank god and praise god and the peace of god that trans all understanding shall guard your heart and mind in christ jesus now receive the grace it's that that situation isn't isn't the news to God? He Amen. already has the solution, and just receive it. 
Amen. We were, we were asleep and double in a single bed. <laughs> and the doctor said, you know, I, you know, I wanted we were to the, take care of him in the night, but I was in so much peace, I slept through the night. I there was no place in the hospital, so we were in the, we were in the dialysis <laughs> lab. That was the only bed they had. That's it, yeah. And we slept there together. But I had hoses and wires hooked to me or whatever. Yeah, it was, it was just God. We went to sleep. We went to sleep. So, hallelujah. So, uh, hallelujah. Our God is a great God, miracle working and, God. Now I'm and God sets us 100%. free. 100%. Today, God sets you free from any poverty. If you need a job, God has that job all ready for you. Receive it today. You're in the house of the Lord. God sets you free from anxiety and fears and stresses in your life. You need to receive that God sets you free from any type of stronghold or Enter any depression or, or impression or, or rejections. Or, it's here today. You're in the house. Get, take what you need. You need help? Take your help that's already yours. It's already provided. Now receive it. We're a church of faith. This is God's house. This is his dream. This is where his name dwells. Receive what you need in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We introduce to you Living Word Virtual Church Community. Each week, we come together during the live stream, chatting with each other through live comment sections. Then, during the week, our virtual church community reconnects in online share groups to discuss the weekend service and study the word. To sign up, visit the Living Word Virtual Church Community page on our website. We'll see you there.